to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing something completely different. Something that's never been done before on my channel and that is a candy taste test. I've seen so many people do these videos and I love watching them because it's really funny how different our palettes are, isn't it? Like it's kind of funny how you might think something's delicious and someone else might think it's horrible, you know? So I always found it really interesting and I've been dying to do a video like this for ages now and I was recently in Amsterdam for my birthday and I tried a few different things in Amsterdam if you know what I mean um, I tried I tried some weed brownies um, which I'm thinking about making a funny story time video on because girl that was interesting but I managed to pick up some different types of candies from Amsterdam. I went around some like different candy shops and I asked the like shop assistants what was traditional. So I really tried to stay true to like authentic Dutch candy, but I don't know if I did a good job or not. So if you are from the Netherlands, please let me know if these are actually authentic Dutch candies. But um, I tried my best. There's a little bit of a mixture in there. So I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And let's see what I think of Dutch candy. So the first bit of candy I'm gonna try is cinnamon rolls. Um, I picked these up in a cute little Dutch candy store. Apparently they're very popular, so we'll see how I feel about that. Not sure how I feel about cinnamon either, so. This is what it looks like. Kind of looks like a little poop. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. It smells like Christmas. Mmm. It smells like something you'd put in a bowl in your kitchen for Christmas and it would, like, make the room smell really good. Mmm, okay. Okay, let's see how this goes. <laughs> oh my god, what? stronger every time I chew it. <laughs> oh, I don't know how I feel about this. It just smells like... <laughs> it just smells like Christmas. That's the only way I can describe it. Oh god, it's so hard to bite into. This is weird. Oh. I don't know how to explain it, it just tastes like Christmas, like a little miniature bread roll of Christmas. Oh, no. It's not for me. <laughs> it's not for me. So that was a good start to the video. Um, oh god. It tastes weird, it tastes like Christmas. But not in a good way. But not in a good way. I guess I just don't like cinnamon. I never knew that. Anyways, that's something interesting that I learned from this video today. And um, when I was in Amsterdam, I went to a candy store and I took photos of like the different candy names because I would never remember them. So the next one I'm going to try is butter waffles, and I'm going to butcher it in um, Dutch. Room butter waffles is <laughs> apparently the Dutch word. And um, these are really cute, actually. I have them in a little bag here because I picked up a few different candies. So, let me get, ah, oh, butter waffle. So this is it. Looks like a little butter waffle, literally. It's a little yellowy hard candy. So let's see what this tastes like. Hopefully it's nicer than the cinnamon roll. Mmm. Ooh, I like this. It's kind of like, kind of like butterscotch, but not. Oh my god, I like this. Mmm. I can't explain it, like... It's a hard candy that tastes like melted butter. That sounds disgusting, but it's actually really nice. Mmm. Thumbs up for butter waffles, I like them. So the next candy I'm trying is frozen raspberry. So, ram... frambozen raspberries <laughs> is apparently what they're called so they're in the little bag here they look quite they look quite good i'm not gonna lie so they look like this kind of match my hair actually and they're a little hard candy as well so mm. quite liking these hard candies it's good really really strong Raspberry taste. Yeah, I like it. 
liked it. I'm liking these hard candies, they're delicious. So I was told by the guy in the candy store that licorice is really, really big in the Netherlands and I hate licorice. Like I, I really hate licorice, I think it's vile, I really do. So I got one of these to try just for this video. I'm willing to give it a shot, but I just, licorice, no. And this one is called Double Salt. Double salt licorice. So that doesn't sound good to me. So I'm really scared to try this because <laughs> it just sounds like my nightmare. So this is what it looks like. I literally got one piece because I was not willing to spend any more money on licorice because I just, ugh. And it has DZ written on it, I think. I don't know what that means. Anyways, I'm going to try this. Oh, I just smelled it. Ew. Oh, no. Oh, I hate the smell. I hate the smell of licorice. Okay. This is like fucking Bush Tucker trial for me. This is like, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here type shit. Like, oh God, okay. I'm so sorry to anyone from the Netherlands who loves licorice. I just, oh, uh, it's not for me. But for video tasting purposes, I'm willing to try it. Okay, let's go. Oh my god, my eyes are actually watering! No! Oh, girl! It tastes so salty! Oh, oh my god, no. I actually feel like I'm gonna gag. Oh my god, who would eat that? Who eats that for enjoyment? Oh my god, that is the worst tasting thing. Oh no, no. I'm so sorry to anyone from the Netherlands, but that is wrong. Oh my god, double salt licorice is my nightmare. Oh my god, that was, no, no. In order to compensate for the disgusting taste in my mouth of double salt licorice right now, I'm gonna try these classic waffles. These actually look quite nice, I won't lie. These look quite good. They're called Stroop, wa Stroop Waffles? Stroop Waffles. I've actually seen a friend of mine um, who's Dutch and he always has these with, with him. Um, so apparently they must be a very popular snack in the Netherlands and it's really cute because it has a nice little picture of a windmill and everything like that and I did go to a lot of lengths to make sure that all of these were actually made in the Netherlands so this is made in the Netherlands so I'm going to try a Stroop waffle they look really good so I'm hopeful I'm hopeful I won't die while eating one of these apparently they're a nice snack to have with tea or coffee okay so do you get two of them? Oh, you get two. So this is what they look like. Stroop waffle. So pretty much like a little waffle. And I think it has caramel on the inside. So I'm just gonna break it in half like this. Ooh, can you see that? That looks delicious. I'll take this little piece. Little pizza piece. <laughs> and I'm gonna try it. So, oh, I just dropped my phone. Great. Anyways, so yes, let's try it. It's good. Mmm. I could definitely imagine myself having a nice cup of tea and a Stroop waffle. Kind of has um, a mapley taste to it. I don't know if that's caramel or like maple syrup actually. Somebody let me know. I'm pretty sure it's caramel, but it tastes mapley. Mmm. Well done, Netherlands. That is a good tea snack. Stroop waffles, get my approval. So as a lot of you guys know, cannabis is legal in Amsterdam. So they sell a lot of foods and um, sweets and stuff that are cannabis flavored. So, um, you know, they have the THC removed, so you can't get high off them, but they do have a cannabis flavor. I don't know why anyone wanna eat something that's cannabis flavored, but <laughs> there you go. So I picked up one of these lollipops um, to bring home. Um, this is a really fun colored one that I picked up and it is a cannabis flavored lollipop. So let's see what all the fuss is about. Eh. 
I quite like this because it has some nice little colors in it, which I think is really cute. It's not just your like classic green color. It actually has some nice little colors in it. So let's taste it. Oh, <laughs> no. It just tastes like grass. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh. <laughs> no. Uh, thumbs down. Thumbs down. I, I don't like this. This is not good. It just tastes like... It does taste like cannabis if I... I don't know. You know the smell you get when you like smell cannabis? It tastes like that. It just tastes like... It tastes authentic. It does taste like what it says it's going to taste like, but it's not good. <laughs> Ugh, it's not for me. I don't like it. Ugh. So the last thing I'm going to taste is a chocolate bar. And I saw these in a lot of like the news agents over there in Amsterdam. It is Tony's Choco Lonely. Um, I believe this is the original flavor. I can't read it because it's in Dutch, but I'm pretty sure it's like, um, you know, just regular old chocolate. So I'm going to taste this. And I love chocolate. So I'm really hoping that... I enjoy this because I saw these bars everywhere like they were in different sizes and stuff and this is like the regular size so let's see what it looks like so this looks like a normal chocolate bar very classic I'm gonna take a piece and let's taste it it's good mmm I really like this. It tastes like an Aero bar, which is weird because it's just plain chocolate, but it actually tastes like fluffy, kind of like an Aero bar. Mmm. It's good. Really nice. Mmm. I really like it. Tony's, I salute you. You do good chocolate bars. Out of everything I tasted in this video, I actually really liked the butter waffles the best. I think they had a, a really strange taste to them. I've never tasted a candy quite like them, but they were really nice. Like, I can't explain it. They tasted really, really good. And apparently they're a classic candy. So um, if it is a classic candy in the Netherlands, let me know. That's what I was told, which is the reason why I picked it up. Um, but they were really, really nice. And I loved all the little hard candies. I thought they were really good. And the Stroop waffles were really nice as well. So, um, you know, the Netherlands has some good candy, but double salt licorice is not one of them. I hope I didn't offend anybody from the Netherlands. <laughs> if I did, I apologize. But um, licorice is just not my thing. It is not my thing. So um, if you guys want to see how I got on on my trip to Amsterdam, I will leave a link below to a blog post that I did about my trip and different things I tried over there. So um, if you want to check that out, um, that would be amazing. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was so much fun to film. And um, yeah, I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much for taking the time to subscribe to my channel. You guys are awesome. And um, yeah, I'll speak to you all soon. Bye. I love butter waffles. Oh shit. How is it six minutes long? Mm -mm. Frozen raspberry. Mm -mm.